Saturday, welcome back to another vlog. So plot twist, I've been vlogging every Saturday. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's always a Saturday because I'm busy all the other days. It's when I've got work. Um, but plot twist, it's Friday night. Um, what? So I've just dribbled. I finished work at eight o'clock and I came home and I had a bath. Oh, the babies, hi baby. I had a bath, fake tanned, got into bed. Was feeling a bit sorry for myself, didn't it? It's a story like, oh. What did I say? I put, um, <laughs> wait, let me actually show you what it was. Okay, this this is an insight into my life. If you're watching this, you've, you've seen my close friend story. Don't tell anyone about it. It's just between me and you. Um, I said, God, life is lonely. Shall I text my ex Ting? Someone stop me. <laughs> and then Gabby replied, my friend Gabby, she's been featured in many a vlog. Me, come to Slug. I'm meeting Lauren there at 10. <laughs> I said, um, oh, behave because I've just faked hand. The fake dance a lot. But I could wash it off. Dun dun dun. And then I said, I feel like I could do with going out. Anyway, then literally the same second, my dad sends me a video of him on holiday dancing. And I thought, it's Friday. My mum and dad are out. Fucking go out, Ellie. Like, just go out. Um, so yeah, this is my outfit that I call, um, Oh, don't mind that cupboard behind me. We'll close her. That's open because I just got the iron out of it. I've literally never used that before. Um, anyways, we call this outfit. I've just got out of bed. I actually slicked my hair back with this. I filmed a video of it and I'm literally going to insert the video here. Um, I'm going to put it on TikTok, I think. But they gifted me this. It's, it's wow, colour wow. Oh my God, look how cute you are. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, colour wow gifted me this. So sleek. It's like a frizz removal thing. My hair was so frizzy in the video. You'll see. Anyway, see here. Hi guys, so um, I've actually currently got wet fake tan on. Um, I just got into bed to go to bed because it's Friday night. Um, and then I was feeling a bit sorry for myself. One of my friends texted me, um, asked me to go to slug, so now I'm going to slug. Um, so Colour Wow sent me this anti frizz stuff. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I've not washed my hair in a week. Well, actually only six days um, and about 12 hours. So I always wash it on a Saturday morning. So right now she's looking a bit frizzy. Like I had it back, but I feel like here is really frizzy. So I'm gonna try, I've not used it before, but. Um, I'm gonna just try putting it through this like ah, this front bit, um, just to see if I can like slick it back. Cause oh, I don't want to like I don't want it to look all frizzy. Um, okay, so we we'll run it through the hair. Let me get my brush. Okay. 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 <gasps> no. Okay. Do you know what? This looks okay. So, oh my God, it's so, nah. Oh my God. They're the bits that I always like end up having frizzy. So like I find that those little bits there, just, I'm just gonna literally put it in a low burn. But yeah, this is a vibe. I feel like it looks so slick now. I just literally put it back in a bun and I was like, I actually can't go out like this. And I do you what, as single girls, we need to go out on a Friday night, don't we? So. Okay, she's looking looking a bit slicker. It's a vibe. That little Oh my god, I've literally got this one flicky bit, but the rest is not frizzy anymore. So it's a look. Oh my god. Do you know what? Especially because my hair needs wash, I feel like this is I'm gonna use this every day. I'm gonna put it in a little bun at the back as well. I just need another hair bubble. I've probably got one. My cat like takes them around the house, it's so funny. If we wrap that round and I'll grab a bubble, but it's a look, honey. She's looking a bit slicker. This is my little, is it called a cow's lip? Don't know, but that little thing, but yeah. Okay, would highly recommend if you want to get rid of the frizz and have a nice slick bun. It's not necessarily for a bun or like a scrapey back, but would recommend. Bye. Um, but yeah, so would recommend that. And then um, I've just literally put on some foundation and some mascara, which is not a bit of me. I don't wear mascara. I actually took this mascara, um, sorry, mum, from mum's house the other day because Shannon was here and she asked me for mascara and I don't didn't have a mascara. Well, I gave her one that was completely empty and dried up because I don't use it. But I thought there's no point in putting lashes on. I'm only going to be out for a little bit. So I put mascara on, which is, I don't know about that. 
I just think I prefer lashes, but we're gonna go with this today. And then I've got the classic Zara bodysuit and these um, trousers that are from Next, but I got them in the charity shop and love them. And then the classic Abbott Lynn jewelry that she never takes off. Um, so yeah, anyway, so we're going out tonight. It's Friday. I'm not going for long. I'm gonna drive. I'm not gonna drink because I want to go for a run tomorrow. But do you feel like sometimes it's good to leave the house and have a little socialise, isn't it? Social moment. So yeah, I'm gonna drive there. I'm just waiting for um Gabs to let me know when they've got there. And then I'm just gonna drive. They can park like round the back. But yeah, and then my plan for the rest of the weekend is I'm gonna go for a run tomorrow. I'm gonna go and get my eyebrows did. They actually look alright now, but during the day I just felt like they needed doing, so I booked an appointment. Life's too short, book the appointment, girl. And then um Tomorrow night, going for dinner with Gabby and Kerry, so that would be super cute. We're going to Oco in Brindley Place. Would highly recommend, been a few times, literally best food ever. The tofu, one of the tofu dishes is literally the nicest thing ever. Um, I need to remember which one I had last time because oh, it was just the nicest tofu I've ever had. So, yeah, I've, I'm going out with wet fake tannin, so if anyone feels, spills a beverage on me, we're going to have an issue, but it'll be fine. Come and have a look at what Minnie's doing. She's just... What you doing, babies? What you doing? What are you doing? She's so funny. She like scratches all of that up and like she'll start to bite it. Look, there you go. I'm rip it about. It's very entertaining. Anyway, so um, see you at Slug. Guys, Cov do be looking vibey. I think that's that assembly gardens. I've literally never been there. Don't ask me how, because I obviously live in Cov and go out all the time. I've never been there, so. No guys, I'm actually so annoyed. So I just got all the way to fucking Slug and Lettuce and I forgot my fucking ID because I'm not even gonna fucking drink. So I'm going home. Sorry about all the swearing, that's so inappropriate of me. Um, so yeah, I'm going home to get my ID and then I'm coming back. But I'm actually so annoyed because, well, I know that it's literally their job so I shouldn't really be annoyed. She just fucking remember to bring my ID with me. But it's just so annoying. You know as well, when you're like, I'm literally 24 years old. I'm not even gonna drink. She was like, I can't babysit you. I was like, mm, you don't need to. If I was gonna drink, you probably wouldn't need to babysit me because I'm a lightweight Julie. But we move, so yeah. But Gabby said it's good, so I am gonna go home and I am gonna come back. It's just very inconvenient. I'm glad I drove here. Imagine if I got an Uber and I had to go home, I'd be so annoyed. But what can we do? This camera's probably gonna fly off the dashboard any second, isn't it? Oh, how annoying. Oh my God, I should have stayed in bed. But I'm already out now. Minnie's gonna be so confused when I, I don't even know where my ID is. I think it's in my, in my white bag. Oh God knows. Jesus Christ, I fucking hate driving around here because there's so many zebra crossings. I just, zebra crossings scare me a little bit. But yeah, so the night's going swell so far. I'm just loving life, baby. <laughs> so annoying. What can you do? I can't believe I'm literally driving all the way out my way to go and get my ID to not even drink any alcohol. I was like, can I show you a picture of my ID? She was like, no. But why not? Like, it's literally the same thing. She was no. Piss off. So annoying. Literally like halfway to 50 nearly. That's actually disgusting. We'll never say that again, Ellie. Made it! <laughs> Morning. Um, so successful night out. I don't know where to put this. Um, so fun. Just literally had a diet coke. So she's not even hungover. We love that for her. Lost my hairbrush. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah. Obviously we had the ID palava, but once we were inside. It was all good. Um, yeah, I got home at like, maybe like half one. Um, what time is it? But yeah, I couldn't get sleep. Like, I woke up at like seven and I was really trying to go back to sleep to get that eight hours in and it just weren't happening. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just, I've literally put you like on a plant. It's, it's just not gonna really happen. I'll just put you here and bend down. Um, but yeah, so, um, 
couldn't sleep so I thought oh I'm just gonna get up go for my run and then I'll come back and do what all the shit I need to do and then I'll um probably just have a nap in a bit it's so annoying I hate that like once I'm awake sometimes I feel like because I would never sleep past this time um so this is what I do to my hair every Saturday this is the pocket oil I think I spoke about this last week but I literally put a bit in my hair and I like run it through my hair so um god this is such a good angle well um yeah and I run it like from the bottom upwards and then I'll scrape this back into a bun and um then I'll I will put a hat on because it's sunny oh do you know what I want to put some fact 50 on my face as well ginger girl problems eh just trying to be looking 20 at 30 that's all um, this up. Yeah, and then I'll just put it in a little bun and put a hat on, and then we are good to go. Um, yeah, I think I am gonna go to Draycott this morning for my run. I need another hat. This is like a weekly issue finding that I've got so many. I take them off when I get into bed, and I just chuck them on my bed so like they're everywhere in here. There we go. But yeah, so gonna get ready, go for a run. I need to feed the little kitty. Uh, she's she's run downstairs because she thinks that we're gonna go feed her. We are. Um, I just need to put my hair up first. Look like um I don't know something from a movie. Don't know what. Anyway, this is the only um bum bag I've got, and I need to put my stuff in there. So let's go. So pretty. Okay, so finish the run. One minute, um, one minute, I thought me that was quick. Um, 41 minutes, 54, which is pretty good if you ask me. Um, yeah, it felt so much easier. Like rather than improving the time, I just wanna, want it to feel easy. And to be honest, it does feel quite easy now. Like I could definitely run a little bit further, which is fabulous. Loving that we're back into this running, so fun. And she's home, I went into the little food shop on the way home. Um, just a few bits. I just wanted some yogurt um, and some broccoli. So I was like, oh, I should get a few things. So, oh god, I feel really tired all of a sudden now. Okay, anyway, I um, I'll show you what I got from my food shop. I don't normally go on a Saturday, so this is a bit of a plot twist. Let me move over there. Okay, I'm just gonna make some toast. I'm gonna have some avo on toast. Um, oh, there's my cat. Oh. Um, I'm gonna make some avo on toast for breakfast, but it is literally like what time even is it? 10:43. Okay. Oh, look at her little face. So I'll probably have um have lunch quite soon anyway. Probably a big salad. Um, okay, I'm gonna have some avo on toast. Get your butt out the camera. You're so cute. She's so curious. She's Sniff my avo. <laughs> oh, bestie. You're so cute. Let me make this and then I'll, I'll even show you what I've purchased. Um, what do I need? This, this, okay. I showed one of my friends how I put avocados and she was like fascinated. Um, I thought like, well, I think my mom probably showed me how to do it. Okay, so what I do is, let me show you because apparently it's like life changing information. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, so take the pip out and then scoop out this. And then cut up. The spoon does not need to be involved. And then. And then, like, mush it with a fork. The mushin, oh baby, I don't want to get avocado on you. Um, the mushin is an important part. There we go, she's beautiful, she's stunning. And I'm just gonna put this on toast with some chili flakes and some, um, probably have some hot sauce. You know I got the sauce. It's always hard to get this at a place where you can see me and other things. Anyway, I've got to put it in a grape, which I've ate literally half of in the car. I was so hungry after running. Um, I didn't have dinner last night at all. I had it before, so I did have dinner. But I think having it before, I normally eat way later than that. I'm really staring at me. 
I got two broccolis because I keep running out, I'm running out of broccoli. I got sweet potatoes. We love a sweet potato. Three of these. These are the best. These are um, they're plain vegan like soy yogurt. So good. And I mix in like protein powder. Amazing. They're not as good as as um Alpro. The Alpro ones are like way higher protein. Um, but uh, like even the normal Alpro, like the plain one. But um, they're way cheaper. They're literally less than half the price. So I buy them and just add my own protein, and then it's it's different. Um, hummus, obviously essential. And I got four packs of quinoa because I always run out. I love making quinoa salads. And then I got some frozen blueberries and some frozen pineapple. I love frozen fruit. Um, it's just so easy and it doesn't go off. Otherwise, I feel like everything goes off, and it's so annoying. Then you've got to go and like do your food shop all the time. Who has the time? Certainly not me, I'm a busy gal. Anyway, right, um, I'm gonna have this avo on toast. So yeah, now I'm just literally gonna put this onto said toast. Um, so yeah. In her and she's stunning. Okay, I'm just gonna make some um, tofu in the air fryer. Literally a game changer. It's so good. Like, actually. Oh, so ignore the fact I'm opening it with the wrong knife, but we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Ah! I mean, I could just buy more knives, but it just seems pointless. It's like, just wash them. You know what I mean? And then I feel like it stops you from letting the washing and stuff like pile up okay i don't press my tofu i know that you're meant to but i am too lazy so i don't do it um i just also feel like i don't need to because i like how it tastes so i just cut it up and put it in the air fryer and then literally how does anyone get a good angle of them making food because i feel like you're either going to see me or you're going to see the food and the point is that i'm showing you how i make my tofu so i'm going to show you that um and then i'm just going to add these two seasonings, I'm literally just who even cares. Chili flakes and chili powder, because she's spiced leather. Um, and I'm just gonna add like copious amounts to that. Give it a little shake. Boom, there she is. Put it in the air fryer for like about just over 10 minutes. And I'll let you know when that is done. I'm gonna add that to a salad in a bit. Um, that's my life hack for bro cooking broccoli. I saw this on TikTok, is literally to put the whole broccoli in and when it's done just cut it, so much easier. Doing some laundry so I've let Minnie out because it's a nice day. I feel like as long as I can keep an eye on her, she's fine. She's so funny. I wonder if there'll be any beef today. <laughs> Hi guys, so I have I got my eyebrows done. That's why they look a bit crazy, I need to wash them off. Um, I also did a little charity shop shop while I was there and I got this cute little crochet top. Um, and then I had a nap, I was feeling so tired all of a sudden, um, had some lunch, and yeah, now I'm just getting ready to go for dinner, so, um, glow up in 3, 2, 1. And we're ready, um, so I'm wearing this dress, I think it's from Misguided, um, the huge makeup, a Lulabelle's, as in the usual is Abitlin, and, um, a Lulabelle's pony, and then these heels from ASOS. I hope my feet don't start to hurt. We're sitting down though, so it should be fine. So yeah, this is the fit of the day. This is my cat. Hi, baby. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go, we're going to Oco in Brindley Place. <laughs> we're at Oco. Everyone give us an outfit of the day. Someone just asked Kerry where her dress is from. <laughs> it's from PLT, guys. The bag's from Zara. The shoes are from... <laughs> You've mudded that today. Are they? Wow, booty. <laughs> Where's your outfit from, Gabs? Dress is from Naked. Bag is JW Pay. Shoes are. I love when people do this with like their grandparents <laughs> on um on TikTok. My Gives me life. <laughs> the baby is moving. Ah! <laughs> 
anything like this because I've not so we're on the very top floor of the Brindley Tate place car park like we're literally on floor six and the cars are like backlogged around and apparently it's been like this for an hour and no one's cars moved so you basically cannot get out the car park I'm so glad we drove here <laughs> we moved oh my god there's movement yeah we were like I'm so glad that we didn't get the train because this is so nice that we're just gonna be home in like an hour and now we're absolutely not there's just people stood all over the world. yeah where even is the car oh it's right there but um yeah so that's the current deal we love this first we move <laughs> we've had a fab night though pardon she's going a night out <laughs> Been here now, an hour. No, you've been here an hour. Where were you parked? At a right Just at the top. Just doing it. No. No. Yeah, how, long now... have you, how long have you got? <laughs> 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 if you see an ambulance when they get in. Well, you can't get. Yeah, they won't get in. I've got work at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I've got to go to the baby show. Do you know what I mean? I need to go to the baby show. Hi. Oh, what a sweetheart. Well, anyways, it's going, it's, it's absolutely swell. I would not recommend parking in Brindley Place, <laughs> just for future reference. <laughs> and we are home, I'm ready for bed. Um, it didn't actually take us that long to get out of the park, car park, probably like 20 minutes, so that was good. And then the drive home was fine. Um, so yeah, all home, ready for bed, work tomorrow. Um, oh, such a good night, love Ocko, so fun. Um, yeah, absolute vibes. Right, thank you so much for watching. Um, what an eventful few days. Can't believe I've been out two times. Wow. The food at Ocko, okay, by the way. Chef's kiss. Um, I had the tofu, tofu poke bowl. It was so nice. Um, and yeah, would highly recommend. Um, see you next week. Bye.